What's up, comic fam, comic fans, and it's time for the previews. It is time for that preview show where we go through all the comics coming out this week. That's right. May the 4th be with you. May 4th. We got all the publishers dropping their books, except for DC, because DC likes to let their books out on a Tuesday. So your shop may or may not put those books out on Tuesday, but DC's like, go ahead. We're good for Tuesday, May 3rd. But May 4th is the day everybody else is dropping books. So may the 4th be with you, and we're going to get into all the books coming out this week right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And uh, before we continue on, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell if you haven't, whether you're new or not, if you like the content. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like this stuff, and comment down below. All right, let's get into the books coming out this week. As you know, first off, we start off with the spec books. And so let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Do it till you're satisfied. And we're going to start off with Batman Beyond Neo Year number two and as we know most spec books revolve around some new appearance some first appearance some new characters so we have rumored the first team appearance of the gestalt all right it's comprised of three villains all right and then we also have dominic lumos showing up also a new villain also ruined also rumored to possibly be part of the gestalt none of this is confirmed but what we know is there's going to be some some new characters in these books right it's batman beyond it's a future book there's always going to be something new in here now uh is this going to be a huge spec book i don't think so but i think it'll end up going for more than cover it's going to take time but it'll get there it'll be one of these books if they ever do a animated series tv show movie this may be a good pickup. All right, we're gonna move on to the next book in the list, Star Wars, Obi-Wan. And why is this a spec book? Well, it's Star Wars and it's Obi-Wan. It's a new Obi-Wan series. That is pretty much it because Obi-Wan, Star Wars, synonymous with each other. Star Wars books are hot. They're always hot. People are always specking on the Star Wars stuff. Don't fall behind. Don't get left behind. What we do have rumored here is the origin of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So this book will have an origin story, and that's probably what sets it apart from other books. Now, you'll see a ton of covers. If you look over here on the right side of your screen, ton, ton of covers. All cool. This is the Momoko. Is that Qui-Gon? Is that Qui-Gon Jinn right there on the cover? And a very young Obi-Wan Kenobi? So I think the rumors of the origin are pretty true about this book. All right, so that's Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's Star Wars. That's number one. Let's get to the last spec book of the week. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 128. You will have in this book the first full appearance of Venus 127 especially the covers with venus on them popped they're like 15 to 20 dollar books right now all right so you got the first full appearance of that character now also again i don't think this is going to be a book that jumps in price astronomically maybe a little bit here or there it's four dollars now maybe next week it's six dollars in the future if anything happens with the venus character it's going to be a lot more than that we also have the first team appearance of deadly new villains. They're like Frankenstein turtles. And if you look at this cover, you see what I'm talking about. It's like right there. They just. So this is an interesting cover, and I'm really interested to see what you know what's happening here. This hand here looks like the hand of a frog. So maybe these are some kind of amphibian amalgams of some sort. Let's call it that. All right. But those are my three spec books for this week. Batman Beyond, Neo Year number two, 
Star Wars Obi-Wan and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 128. Now I got a book that I just want to bring up, spotlight book if you will. This is Batman 123 Incentive 150 Jock Cover. And why do I bring this here? Knowing that you can't just go into a store and grab this off the shelf. And I think it's just because Jock's done it again. He's created a cover that may be iconic at some point over the years. It's just so, so simple, but so great. Yellow cover, people love the yellow covers. Yellow on black, amazing cover. So I just wanted to point this out, guys. It's a one in 50. If you can find it for ratio or less, I say go ahead and grab it. If you want to spend a few extra dollars, I say go ahead and grab it. I don't think this is going to be a $500 book down the line, but who knows? Ah, sorry, needed some water there. Who knows if this is going to be a bigger book or not? All right, let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week. Let's go. Get hyped. We're starting off with Image. And Image Comics has got Firepower number 20. I said, let's get hyped. And everybody's like, oh, he started with Firepower. Hey, it's a fun book, all right? Read it if you like it. If you don't like it, we'll keep moving on. All right. Uh, Little Monsters number three. I've enjoyed this series, all right? Jeff Lemire is a really good writer. Dustin DeGuin's a really good artist. And so you have a really good book here, all right? And uh, this is about some vampires who have never really grown up. Right, they've been stuck as kids. One of them gets a taste of his first human, and it looks like all heck is gonna break out after that. All right, these little monsters may go a little crazy. All right, we're gonna keep the ball rolling. You got Metal Society number one. That's a book people are talking about. Robots are bringing back people to kind of be their slaves, dead people to be their slaves. You got you know human resistance, and it looks like a robot's gonna join the fight with the humans. So interesting interesting concept we'll see where the book goes but it might be worth a pickup you got metal society number one all right we're moving on marie gandolfo's got sweet paprika a lot of people like that you know i got nothing against it radiant black with this homage cover all right so that's pretty cool we're gonna keep it going keep the party going twig number one's coming out this book has had a lot of hype behind it so you know, if you want to pick it up, go ahead and pick it up. But it's a heavily ordered book, so I wouldn't go too crazy. You know, grab two two copies, two or three copies, stash them away, read one, call it a day. Don't go crazy. And then you got The Walking Dead Deluxe in color. Great for those of you who like The Walking Dead in color. You got Dark Horse Comics. What do we got coming out of here? Not much this week out of Dark Horse, honestly. Looks like a bunch of trades. All right, so moving on. There's a Sin City trade, though, if you like it. Yellow Bastard, number four, fourth edition. IDW this week. IDW gave us the uh, last Ronin last week, right? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last Ronin. What did they give us this week? Uh, let's see. You got some, some Rocketeer, some Star Trek. You got that TMNT, number 128 that we were talking about. All right. And the spec, and you got the Transformers, Beast Rod. And you got the Transformers, Best of Hot Rod one shot the best of hot rod is when he gave the matrix back to optimus prime okay hot take hot take dc comics we're at dc home of batman and all the batman comics batman number 123 is out this could be somewhat of a spec book too we covered that 150 cover that was beautiful let's just take one more look at it there it is okay and we're going back to this week's books and here we go. Uh, this is the end, I believe, of the Shadow War. It's part five of Shadow War, which I believe is the last issue of the Shadow War. Uh, parts two and three and four were in other books. Uh, Robin, uh, Deathstroke, not sure. Batman was probably the first part or the second part. So I don't know, I haven't really uh, put all the shadow war together because robin and deathstroke aren't in my pulls so we'll see if i can get those to kind of finish the story up but anyway 123 shadow war part five deathstroke's fight against the demon shadows ends with a shocking cliffhanger all right so who knows maybe this is that book that has something that happens in it 
that will change DC history. All right, you got Batman Beyond, Neo Year number two. Again, that was covered in our little spec talk at the beginning. You got Batman Beyond the White Knight number one having a second printing, and there's a one in 25 second printing, which is a foil virgin variant of that one in 25. They don't show it here. But I'm sure I can find it if I look hard enough on leagueofcomicgeeks.com. All right, so what, how do I find it? I got to select just the DC books. Then I got to go down here and select variants and reprints. Let's turn off the regular issues and the annuals off. And let's see if they give me the book we're looking for. There it is, Batman Beyond the White Knight, number one. We found it. And there you go. If you missed issue one, here's your chance to own it. And here's the one in 25, which is just a Virgin variant. It's a very pretty book, very beautiful book. I would get that if I found it for the right price. All right, you got more Batman. Batman Killing Time. Let's go. Batman, the Dark Knight Detective Trade, number six. Danger Street number one is coming out. You got Legends uh, Earth Prime number three. Sorry, Legends of Tomorrow. Flashpoint Beyond number one is coming out, all right? Thomas Wayne is Batman. Let's see what happens with that. Good team on there. As you see, I've ordered it and I've subscribed to it. It's a good team on that book. It should be a, a good ride. All right, Monkey Prince number four of 12 is out. Nubia, we get her uh, origin in this book. All right, lots of good books. I mean, DC is starting, DC's never really been behind, but they're really starting to pull it together. I think they were, they were in shambles a little bit behind the scenes. I think they're really getting it together. All right, we got Avengers Forever number four having a second printing. This is sold out, I can tell you, at uh, Midtown Comics and uh, Things from Another World. Is it worth a pickup? Time will tell. But you do have that really cool Captain Carter on the cover. You got the old man Hawkeye. And you got War Machine. Cool book. All right, let's keep the party rolling. Because you also got Avengers Forever number five, all right? And I believe Man Thing, like the Avengers Man Thing team, makes an appearance in this one. So that's interesting. You got Ben Riley, Spider Man number four of five. So that series might be coming to an end very soon. Black Panther Legends, number 44. That is also out. You got Carnage, number one, with a second printing. That seems to have been a popular book. Thunderbird gets his own giant size X-Men one-shot. Iron Man, number 19, is out. Let's just keep going. Marauders, number two. That's something I might pick up issue two. Issue one really did not pull me in at all. Spider-Man 2099 Exodus Alpha is out. All right. Star Wars number 23. You can't go wrong with a little Star Wars action. And plenty of other books. Obi-Wan Kenobi number one is out. So go ahead and grab yourself some Obi-Wan. Venom Lethal Protector number one of five. Second print is out. Wolverine patch number one second print is out. All right, we're at dynamite and you got the boys army of darkness Lots of heroines lots of covers. You're getting a dynamite book You're gonna get a pretty nice cover most times because there's just so many that you're gonna be able to pick the one you like All right, boom here comes the boom ready or not you got doom you got Magic the Gathering. You got the storyteller. Jim Henson's the storyteller. You got Once in Future, which continues to pump out beautiful covers. There's so many beautiful covers and so much art on that. Really like it. Wave 2 of the Deluxe Slipcase Edition comes out this, this week. And a lot of people went crazy on it with Wave 1. They said they never print it again. Well, here it is. One more time, guys. All right. We're at the rest of the comics and the graphic novels, the trades coming out this week. Let's go through it. As always, thank you for joining me. You know, um, you could have been anywhere else. You're here with me. I appreciate that. 
I'm gonna quickly scroll through the rest of the books. We'll see if there's anything else worth stopping at. If you see something, just feel free to, to pause the screen, take a look at it, then order it from your LCS or your online shop, whichever you know you prefer. And hopefully I've helped you to make an informed decision about the books coming out this week. Dogs of London has some heat behind it. That may be a book from Aftershock worth picking up. It's Aftershock, so you may be able to find that in stores. And then follow me into the darkness. Number three is out. I know some people are following that that uh, comic, so there it is. It's out there. Don't miss the indies. The indies are pumping out some beautiful stuff these days. Definitely worth pickups. All right, we're in the M's. So we're halfway to the end of this little arc of our story. Again, guys, so many good books, so many good creators, so many good artists coming out. And don't forget this Saturday is free comic book day. So go ahead and stop at your comic book store on Saturday. Get some free comics. A lot of shops, I know a lot of shops in my area, um, discount books, you get like 20% off or 25% off or 30% off. So it's a good time to go shopping on comic book day. A lot of artists come out. Uh, Peter David is coming out to uh, one of the LCSs out here, along with Shannon Mayer. So we're going to have some some really cool guys uh, at my LCS. I stopped here because we have the Grunch Welcome to the Brotherhood, number one. That also has some heat behind it. I've heard some good things about it. It's an American Mythology Productions imprint, though, so your store may not have it. You could try to order it online, or you you know you can try asking your shop to get it from their distributor. See if you know they can get it. But I've heard some good things about it. All right, we're at the end. So comic fam, comic fans, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for next week's books. Peace.